little frost on the wing can't hurt, right? Wrong. Nothing will disrupt the aerodynamic flow of air more readily than the irregular surface created by hoarfrost or snow crust. Yet every year there's evidence that some pilots choose to flirt with this serious hazard. Frost occurs during the fall and early spring during clear nights with light or no wind movement. Some pilots may underestimate the effects of frost on wings, but even a little frost can raise the stall speed of an aircraft. Studies show that roughness, as little as only 0.01% of the wing thickness, will adversely affect lift and the angle of attack at which stall occurs. On a large aircraft, roughness of 1 32nd of an inch along the leading edge of the wing can reduce the lift as much as 20%. So, on a light aircraft, even the smallest amounts of roughness will ruin the smooth laminar airflow over the surface of the wing. The rough surface of the frost disrupts the airflow, creating circulating air currents, or eddies. So when the air passes over the upper surface, it won't adhere firmly to the curvature. Add in any factors, such as a short airstrip, soft ground, or a tailwind that may force you into a premature liftoff or climb out, and you're in trouble. And although the aircraft may be able to fly in ground effect, when the nose is raised to climb away, a stall can result in an angle of attack considerably less than normal. Light aircraft need all the aerodynamic assistance the manufacturer intended. So before flying, use a broom, scraper, squeegee, or de-icing fluid from aircraft services to remove all traces of frost and snow. The bottom line is, if your wings are covered with frost or ice and you can't de-ice, you can't fly. So on those crisp, frosty mornings, the solution can simply be found with a little patience. If you can't tow your aircraft into a heated hangar, turn it into the sun and go have a coffee, as the frost will soon melt away.